For its latest release, The Day the Earth Caught Fire has been newly transferred and remastered from the original film elements by the team at the BFI's National Film Archive. We were fortunate to, to, to be working in conjunction with Studio Canal, so we had uh, access to all of the elements that, um, that they had in their archive. The state of the camera negative was, was very good. It makes such a difference to the quality because the only chemical process that it's been subjected to is that development when it came out of the camera. An ideal opportunity to do what we would like to do on all films and that is use the earliest source material. And by and large we did, probably use about 90% of the camera negative uh, for the remastering. Uh, it was crucially one reel that had some Probably what looked like a photochemical staining of some form where some visible fluctuation on the left hand side. So we went to the second generation material which was a, a fine grain. Obviously that's produced in the laboratory, printed from the camera negative in, in the 60s. So it's really a question of which shots we ultimately stayed with the camera negative and which ones we had to replace. Uh, you know, the negative was very much complete and I think there were probably a total of about eight frames missing and we, that was over, over a splice, seven frames from one shot and one, shot, uh, one frame from the next shot and of course we were able to reinstate those quite simply just using the different source. The film is very famous for the, um, the colour that is at the beginning uh, sequence and, and the end and actually interestingly the, the camera negative is, uh, is, I suppose, assembled to allow separate treatment of those reels in a laboratory context. So the yellow uh, at the beginning and the yellow at the end are actually very short reels separate from the rest of, the, of that reel one and reel six, as it turns out. And we had reference to two prints uh, that were dyed. We know that the longevity of dyes is actually very good in the right storage um, conditions, we were able to use those as, as excellent references. We've scanned the whole of the negative and the fine grain sections that we needed at 4K. Obviously being the camera negative, it makes less sense to scan at anything less. And of course that's 4,000 horizontal pixels. That does include the track area, but of course crucially with cinemascopes, the height that counts. 